it's feeling very wintry now, hence the jumper. It's feeling quite cold, windy. So we're doing kind of like the less fun jobs, especially because I have my brother Henry here, so we like to make him, um, we like to get him to help out. <laughs> and so there's a bed that's always been there, what well, since we bought the house, and I think it's been there beyond the previous owners. Um, a vegetable bed. It's just absolutely covered in weeds. It does have some rhubarb in there, but apart from that, it's just bindweed galore. So we're going to clear that, um, and hopefully next year we will use it for something if it's not too rotten. Like, because it's out of the way, maybe um, some strawberries or something else, something perennial in there. I don't know. Um, spinach or something that keeps coming back. A certain type of spinach, obviously. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. We've also cleared we had lots of like berry bushes that had very little ber very few berries growing on there and we think that's because they haven't been pruned in forever so we've cut those back um and yeah that that, that area should look really nice we are also got a poly tunnel on order there's a lot happening here uh, basically we've had a lot of um family members come over we've had my na nana's 80th We've had my friends come over, we've had Ryan's brother come over from Newcastle. So we've had so much family over that we haven't really um, done much to the garden recently. We've just been like making it ready for a party. Now that's over, we're getting going on like all the, you know, boring stuff. <laughs> ready for you to watch. You're welcome. Also, this is our workshop. Welcome to the workshop. We love this place very much. Um, <laughs> this is where you see Henry in the background. He's running out. Uh, yeah, it's quite a big space. So, there's a little sneak of our workshop. Maybe one day I'll give you a little tour. And now I need to really get on because I'm just babbling a bit. And people are waiting for me to actually help do some stuff outside. This is the third wheelbarrow full of weeds, but we are getting there. The weeds are going in the compost heap, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Most of the weeds have been pulled out and then we're gonna put just like some sheet on there to try and keep the weeds at bay until we need to use it. Then we'll put some cardboard, some fresh compost, um, and hopefully, we might have a strawberry bed or something going on here. It makes sense to use this seeing as it's here, but it is quite old and we have a lot of bindweed going on, so I don't know how usable it will be, um, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> We've got a little helper. She's literally just after worms though, I don't know who we're kidding here. We know you just want some wormies. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> She's loving life with all these worms. We think she might want to go on the bed to uh, have a little search for some food because the others keep bullying her. Sir Henry's made her a little ramp. <laughs> Seeing as there's no veg on there that we really mind about, even like, well, the rhubarb's not precious either, that's just a bonus. So yeah, she's welcoming up on there. Um, our plan was to then cover it, but we're gonna keep it uncovered in case she wants a little treat. There's nothing growing, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah. It's actually looking really good. It might not look good on the camera, but it's looking a lot better. How did you pick it from there? Come on. You've got to go up. Oh, yes. Yes. So far, so good. Now go on onto the bed. Oh, oh my god, this is so nice. cute. Oh my god, yeah. How did she find that many so quickly? We've been searching for like 10 minutes to find your worm and you're just like,
So that's done. Um, well, it's very echoey in here, sorry. That's done as much as we were going to do today. Um, the rest of the day, me and mum are going to try and either do something with our apples. We have so many apples, which you will see now, me, Ryan and his brother picking. Hey everybody, today you've got the chickens in the background and a few dogs barking. Um, today we've got Ryan's brother over, he's staying with us for a few days from Newcastle. Um, and so we're putting him to work and we're going to pick one of the apple trees. There's one of the biggest apple trees, there's a lot of apples falling from it. We've tried one of the apples, it tastes great. So we're going to pick them. Um, I've got a few plans of what we're going to do with the apples. We're hoping to dehydrate them to make them to apple crisps. Ryan's getting an apple press, so we're hopefully going to be able to make some cider. We're going to juice them, make some apple crumble, um, maybe chutney, I don't know. We don't usually make chutney as a family, but lots of people have said to make chutney, so maybe I'll listen. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got a few things to do, and also we like having apple in our salads and stuff as well. Um, we've realised that if we don't pick them now, they're just going to keep falling to the ground and making a mess on the floor. So it's better in our bellies and our families than in the wasps because <laughs> it's attracting a lot of wasps. But first of all, I've got to make room in the wheelbarrow because the wheelbarrow is full of grass that I'm letting dry out before I put it onto my compost heap. Um, but it's taking up a wheelbarrow, so I need to get that first. I am off to invisible ground. Return it. it's not the way for me Only a mile to go Somewhere I'll belong I'll see it clear now which has been amazing. We haven't been very good at using up the produce that we have growing on our land. And so that's what we're probably gonna to do today, a little bit of. The only thing I have been good at is drying my herbs, especially my lemon verbena, because I love lemon verbena tea. So I've done that, I'm dehydrating that. And I did make some apple crisps, but not enough, and then I ate them really quickly. And we've been dehydrating rose petals for Amelia's confetti too. So we've been doing a little bit, but not enough, basically. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so we're going to come up with some ideas of how to use the produce today. Yeah, we need to get on that. Yeah, um, we're thinking about also buying an apple press to make cider because it would be silly not to. And I think a lot of the apples are cider apples. Um, so yeah. So we've just picked some elderberries. Um, it was a bit of a tedious thing. So me trying to hold the camera and do it just didn't work. You know, one handed problems and all that. Um, but yeah, so we just picked some and I thought I'd talk through what we're doing with them. So we're going to try and make some elderberry syrup, possibly some elderberry gin if we have enough. But we bought some gin that we would use for slow gin anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So maybe I'll say that we're not doing that and if we do it's a little bonus. So we're making some elderberry syrup, which is like that sambacol thing that you can buy. I don't know if you took that, especially during the pandemic. We did. Our family went through bottles of that stuff. It's like high in vitamin C and... Um, zinc I think and all kinds of things like that and then um, I am making elderberry capers I'm following um, I think it's like a Michelin chef's recipe it's on Great British Chefs the website Ryan and I have followed some of their recipes before and they've been amazing I mean amazing a bit tedious but worth it anyway so they make elderberry capers out of the green elderberries so the unripe elderberries you pick them off which I think takes forever um, you pack them with salt you let, leave them for five days just to get rid of the moisture, then you whack them in a sterilised jar with some vinegar and apparently they taste really good. We'll soon see. Um, and I, yeah, I just wanted to try this out because next year, if I feel a bit impatient, which is what happened this year, and then when I'm waiting for the elderberries to ripen, I can make elderberry capers. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Um, 
we're going to make elderberry capers and elderberry syrup. Also, I think elderberry syrup would be really nice in a cocktail. And I know I'm always thinking about cocktails, but I can't help myself. I just can't. <laughs> So this is the elderberry syrup, um, it is, I think it's elderberries, some lemon zest and some water and it's just simmering or not quite simmering yet. It smells actually really good and I will show you my elderberry capers. And here are the elderberry capers in loads of salt, sorry about the background noise, that's the washing machine. Uh, in loads of salt, we'll leave that for five days and then we'll come back to it. I don't know if I'll vlog it, but it'll definitely be on my Instagram stories. Um, yeah, not, I mean, they don't smell amazing, they don't smell like anything, so I have no idea about these. This is an experiment. But I've seen a few people doing it, and usually if a few people do it, it's a good sign. We're a bit high, but hopefully this will work. Um, so the elderberry syrup was made, it was a success. Actually, I'll sit you down. I'll sit you down. Maybe like here. So I've just got some apple crisps on in the dehydrator. We made elderberry syrup, which was a success, and I'll tell you why in a minute, well, how I know. Um, and I've started making the elderberry capers. Obviously, I have to wait five days for those to work, or, you know, not work, but in the salt. To keep Dinner's it. ready. One second, just finishing my vlog. Would you like to say hello? Or say goodbye, because we're ending the vlog? My hair's all right. I haven't been in one of these in a while. I know you haven't. They'll think that I'm not with you anymore. And I've left you. If I'm with <laughs> So, okay, yeah, I was just literally just saying that. So I made this drink with the elderberry syrup and I added a bit of apple cider vinegar, so it makes a bit of a shrub, um, and some soda water. The bits floating around are rose petals um, and violet petals that were in my ice cubes tried saying you. Um, but yeah, it tastes lovely. I really like that. So it's nice that you can make a drink with it as well. I'd quite like to make a cocktail with it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. As I said, like Sambacol is elderberry syrup. Don't know if you've ever bought it from Holland and Barrett or Boots or whatever. Well, that stuff is pricey. This was a very fiddly thing to do, but it was free. Well, we paid for the sugar, but you know. Um, but yeah, so cheers. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I really enjoyed talking to the camera again. Bye.